Here we see the lumbar part of a spine in its original size. Further down we can see the sacral region, and beneath this bone cap are the spinal nerves. There we see the S1, S2, S3, and S4 nerves on the right. A nerve generally reacts very sensitively to pressure. This causes paresthesias in various areas, motor disturbances, numbness, and even very severe pain. The nerves, however, have enough space here, are not crushed, and are protected and embedded in a gliding manner. They are covered by a bony plate. I have a cyst here that is 30 millimeters long, 20 millimeters wide, and contains 10 milliliters. I'm placing the cyst at the S2 level because that's where it occurs most frequently. And now I'm covering the whole thing again with this bony plate. Oh, that doesn't fit at all. The cyst is severely compressed and exerts massive pressure on the underlying nerves. In practice, the most common outcome is that the bone cap is severely thinned by the pressure of the cyst, becoming paper thin. The formerly round spinal nerves are usually shown as severely flattened in imaging studies because they are severely compressed. Sometimes this nerve is also flat and found out within the cyst wall. It is now known that the internal pressure of the cyst is so high in some cases that the blood supply is restricted, and the pressure acts on the axons, causing further symptoms. Size doesn't matter, small cysts can also cause big problems. It is also now known that there is a connection between tarlev cysts and small fiber neuropathy. This occurs disproportionately frequently in tarlev patients and is triggered, among other things, by excessive cerebrospinal fluid pressure. The symptoms differ further from those of tarlev cysts, as they also affect nerve roots at other levels or dermatomes. This can be read in the study by Dr. Mika Hollins from Belgium from April 2025. Now that all of this is known in 2025, how can a doctor still claim today that these cysts are generally not symptomatic? Dear doctor, if you lack experience with tarlev cysts, it's okay. But please don't claim that these cysts are never symptomatic. Instead, please refer me to one of the few specialized neurosurgeons I've linked to in the video description or comments. Thank you.